Hello everyone, welcome to the session of Object Oriented Programming through Java. So, today we are discussing Introduction to Object Oriented Programming session. So, let us see what is an overview of the of the session. So, we will see what introduction to object oriented programming which means what is object oriented programming and the object oriented programming concepts class, object, encapsulation, what is inheritance, what is polymorphism and what is abstraction. These are the review of object oriented programming concepts and we are going to see history of Java as well as the execution of a basic Java program. So, coming to the review of object oriented program. So, the name itself, what is object oriented? Object oriented is a combination of two words, one is object as well as one is oriented. So, objects are nothing but the entities. So, here and we are taking real life entities as an article as a real time example and we are writing the programming. So, this programming is known as object oriented programming and you can say the technical definition is the object oriented programming is basically a computer programming design philosophy or methodology that organizes software design and data or objects rather than functions and logic. So, we will take the real life objects into the programming level of language to solve real life problems. So, the next introduction to object oriented programming. So, what are the OOPS concepts? So, what is object oriented programming? We have seen. So, what are the concepts of that object oriented programming? We are going to see. So, uh, the way of writing programs based on the real life concepts is known as object oriented programming. And here we are having in order to achieve the object oriented programming we are going to see these concepts class, object, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction. These are the basic object oriented programming concepts which you have already seen in C++ but again we are going to the review of these concepts. In popular object oriented programming are Smalltalk, C++, Java, Python, C hash and PHP. So, there are many object oriented programming languages are there. So, here we will see the concepts like class, object, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction in detail in the session. So, coming to the class, what is mean by a class? You can say a class is a user defined data type, how we are having a structure in C. What is a structure? Structure you will have some data members inside it. You are creating a reference variable to the structure and you are using that variables, isn't it? So, here is a class. You will have data members as well as member function inside it. So, what is data members? Data members are the data types uh, with some variables and member function says the behavior of that variables. So, you can create an instance of particular class so that the memory will be allocated. So, you, you know, you can say that a class is a blueprint for an object. What class consists of? Class consists of set of properties or methods with data members. And for example, a dog is a class. What dog consists of? Dog is a basic class. What dogs consists of is eat, run, sleep, name. So, these are the methods. Okay, so a dog, every dog can eat, every dog can run, every dog can sleep, every dog has a name as well as what are the methods, uh, where data members then. So, dog has two ears, one nose and one mouth. So, this is a basic thing which every dog has. So, you can represent a particular dog as a class and another example. So, what every student consists of? Every student consists of a number, roll number, name. Isn't it? Every student has a name as well as a roll number. So, what are the behavior or actions you can be performed on these two? You can set the student roll number, you can display the roll number, set the name of a student and you can display the name of the student. So, this is class. So, who are the objects then? So, going to the objects are nothing but the students. Okay. So, an instance of a class is known as an object. You can say an instance of a class is known as an object. So, 
here the basic unit the class and object are very important which represents the real life entities okay and you can say an object has identity state and behavior okay so you can initiate whenever you you, you are defining a class the memory will not be allocated whereas object whenever you are having an object object creates a memory to the particular class okay and you can use those behaviors those methods data members using object only okay see here as we have seen in the last class example what is a dog dog has a for example breed size color and age these are the data members okay whereas methods behavior of a dog what dog can do is eat run sleep as well as it can it has a name so these are methods okay so for what are the objects then so i am having different types of dogs right so bulldog what is the size of a bulldog what is a light gray color and what is the age of this dog so like that i am taking three objects three different breeds of dogs so those acts as an objects clear and let me go with another example animal is a basic class okay types of animals types of animals it might be giraffe or deer or dog or elephant bird or animal so these are objects of the basic animal class next the next concept is encapsulation what is encapsulation binding the data and code into a single unit this process is known as encapsulations so what is encapsulation encapsulation is a process of combining data and code into a single unit okay so where you are binding these two together so this in a class particular class so this concept is called as encapsulation inheritance acquiring the properties from one class to another class is known as inheritance or you can say the process of acquiring properties and behaviors from one object to another object or one class to another class is known as inheritance so here you are taking one class okay so it inherits the properties from class class 2 is inheriting the properties from class 1 so this class is known as parent class okay and this class is known as child class so this is based on real life entities your father is there for example your father is there who is your father your father and your mothers you, there are the parent classes and you which you will have the symptoms or the facial features or the behavior wise you will have the behavior wise things so you are acquiring those properties from your parent those behavior from your parents those facial expressions from your parents so you are child class and you are acquiring the properties from your mother and father so this is parent class as well as your parents are the parent class and you are the child class so however you are acquiring the their facial features or behavior wise features from them is known as this process is known as inheritance okay so class 1 whenever class 2 is acquiring the properties from class 1 so class 1 is called as parent class and class 2 is called as child class whereas you again the parent class is also known as the base class or super class whereas child class is also known as derived class or sub class see here a person is there he is a human he can work he can eat he can sleep okay so that was a parent class what else the child classes programmer is a child classes he can do the basic things in order to he can have the he can acquire he can learn he can walk and he can eat isn't it so he can have he can uh, whatever he can do another things also okay so he he was acquiring these properties so he can acquire whereas dancer dancer also can acquire all the same properties from the parent and singer he can also acquire all the properties from his parent class 
and the next example is just now we have seen this right so every human for example it's in super class so every human what he can have is he can do something he can eat he can sleep as well as he can he has two eyes nose mouth like that so properties these are the properties so you uh, your father and mother also acquiring the properties from class so your facial features are from your mother or else your dad so this is an example of inheritance polymorphism so simply you can say one in many forms is known as polymorphism or you can say a process of defining same method with different implementation is known as polymorphisms or creating multiple methods with different behaviors are known as polymorphism so java uses the concept called method overloading and method overriding to implement this polymorphism so the best example is liquid so water when it is in water format it was a, it was liquid so whenever you freeze it it will go with the solid format whenever you ever uh, when you boil it it will go to the gas so the state of the water will be changes accordingly so when the water is the same when you frozen it will become solid ice when it was boiled it will be evaporated by gas and you the next example is butterfly different stages of butterfly a butterfly it was particularly it was a egg after that it will become a caterpillar next pupa and then again it will go to the stage of butterfly so one egg was changing every time isn't it so it is one of the example of polymorphism and a person if a person is there when he goes to shopping mall he will act like a customer when he was in a bus he will be act like a passenger when he was in a school he will act like a student when he was in a home he will act like a son so one person acting as so many things so this process is known as polymorphism next is abstraction hiding the internal details and showing only essential functionality is known as abstraction so here we do not show the actual implementation of the end user but instead we provide the essential things example atm whenever you go to the atm you will do the transactions okay so the basic transactions will be happening but what inside it was happening you cannot know that so internal functionality will be hidden but the execution essential functionality you can use it this is known as abstraction the next example is you are everyone is driving your cars right you don't know, you do know the parts of a car isn't it but you don't know you know how to use it what are the parts but you don't know how it will work internally do you know how the music system in the car will work no then it how the motor will work no so hiding the data and it will shows only the essential functionality so this concept is called as abstraction coming to the history of java so history of java was james goslings is a creator of java okay so he was created java was created based on c and c++ so he uses c syntax and many of object oriented features was taken from c++ and then he invented this java so this java is mainly used to solve the fundamental problems or the real life problems here java was invented by team of 13 employees in a sun microsystems leaded by james goslings in 1991 okay so the team persons include patrick norton uh, chris wath ed frank and mike sheridan and many more and java was developed as a green po project initially it was called as oak later it was changed to java in 1995 so it came into existence after 1995 so here how you are going to execute a basic problem program of java so you here are the steps you have to use first you has to create a source code dot java file which consists of code or program of basic program of java 
okay then you have to compile how you are going to compile this program so you has to compile using java c in a command prompt java c space file name dot java next in order to execute or run the file so whenever you are doing this one java compilation that will result you with dot class file when you when you run this dot class file using the java space file name it will be executed by using this you will run the program so whatever the source code you are giving first you will compile using java c command that will create the if any errors are there it will list out the errors then you has to go back to the java program and you has to rectify those errors after that again you has to compile it then dot class file will be generated <clears throat> okay so this dot class file whatever it generated that you can execute in any operating system clear so what we have what we have seen in today's classes we have seen review of oops concepts first we have seen what is object oriented programming okay next what comes under oops concepts what comes under oops concepts what is a class class is an entity which consists of the data members and member methods next we have seen what is an object what is an object object is an instance of a class is known as object next what is encapsulation what is encapsulation encapsulation is binding the data members and member methods together into one is known as encapsulation inheritance what is inheritance acquiring the properties from one class to another class is known as inheritance next polymorphism polymorphism is one in many forms if you are doing one thing in many forms so java concepts of polymorphism are method overloading and method overloading and next is abstraction what is abstraction abstraction is hiding the particular data and showing only essential functionality it is known as abstraction so we will use this in order to acquire this abstraction we are having many things so we we'll later on see that okay and next after this we have seen history of java james gosling's team of 13 members has been developed java programming language and it is initially basically named as oak at first but later on it changed as java in the year 1995 okay and next we have seen execution of a basic program so execution of java program so how you are going to execute a java program you has to write java program in a notepad and then you has to go for the command prompt for particular path and then you has to use the command java c space file name dot java okay in order to compile it will generate the dot class file now in order to execute the java file you has to go with java space file name so it will give you the output for the program thank you for the session